Okay, first, apology to all the people I said up there that were going to be in my last lecture. I got really inspired at the last moment, and I love you all, still. But my last lecture is going to not be about me. It's going to be about this. Yeah. Okay, so about a year ago or more, I bought this necklace. It has the name Anna or Anna on it. It's from an organization called H21. Now this necklace means so much to me. I wore it to prom. Because I wanted to remember all these girls that didn't get a chance to go to prom. There's this... And they go and there's this girl. Forgive me, I can't think of her name right now. But she, she was gone for a couple weeks and they found her in a barn beaten to death because some dude thought she was a prostitute, but really some dude was just pimping her out and she was killed. And her mom never got to say goodbye and her siblings, and I couldn't even imagine how that feels and that girl and Anna they're just one of millions I think it's like 27 million over 27 million because for every girl like Anna who got free there's millions of Jane Doe's out there that are just there and they want they don't even know. They don't even know. They want to die because they're they're afraid to live. They're afraid to live. And so while people are listening to me, hopefully, I don't know. And while I have this time to do something that matters, I wouldn't want to spend it just talking about some stupid crap that happened in my life when there's girls out there in our own city some that might be sitting in class in my own school her being pimped and trafficked there are children being born into this because children are getting raped and children are getting pregnant and children are having children that are going to live in this life too that are raped when they are babies so they get used to this life but that's just crazy these girls are so beautiful they are so loved by god they are so loved and they don't feel loved because the only person they count on is just abusing them these girls are just so beautiful and they don't see their worth so they can't do anything they want to die and they can't and they're fighting and they don't even know what they're fighting for. I, I don't know what to say. I don't even know what to say. This is just so much. Could you just imagine a life where where you run away from home because you just you just don't feel love there. And you're just on the streets. Fourteen years old on the streets. And some boy walks up to you, he looks like a man, he looks like the dad you never had. And so you go up to him, and you want to feel love, so you go with him. And he slowly introduced you to drugs and sex, and then he abused you when you don't want to do that. And then you get raped repeatedly, and then you get beaten by all these men. Could you imagine that? I can't even imagine that 
I wanted to use my time, moments where I may be listened to and give it to these girls that don't have a voice. And I just, yeah, I just, yeah. So I hope you think about Anna and all those other Jane Doe's out there the next time. You know, the next time you see this girl on the side of the street that looks like a prostitute getting picked up. And before you judge her and before you make fun of her, just think about what she might be going through, how many men she might have been with tonight and how many more men she's gonna be with and how much she might be abused and how much she feels so low for herself, how much she doesn't feel loved, wanted, how much she wants to die. I hope you pray for her the next time you see someone like that because that's the least you can do. I don't, I don't want you to go out there and fight it all. I don't want you to go out there and donate all your money. I just, I just want you to know that there are people out there in the suffering. And I know I post about it a lot. I know, I do. People are probably sick of it, I don't know. But I just hope that you pray. Yeah, I hope that you pray. Anna is so special to me because when I'm wearing this necklace, I rem am reminded that my life isn't that crappy and whatever is happening to me, it's nothing, it's nothing compared to that.